like this is not one of the cutest shirts you have ever seen. I also got another mascara. Oh, this smells. So if I'm doing something wrong, don't yell at me. I was treated to a $200 shopping spree yesterday and I wanna show you guys what I got. So we went to the mall and the first store that I went to was Earthbound. I got this crochet headband, which is really cute and I am really looking forward to wearing this. And then I got this necklace. And both of these things were in the clearance section, so I definitely scored there. Then I went to Miss A and I got a new beauty blender sponge thing. Next up is American Eagle. It's rare that I have like a really excited reaction to clothes, but I know whenever I do, I need to buy it. And when I saw this shirt, I knew like I had to have it. It's two jack-o'-lanterns. Tell me this is not one of the cutest shirts you have ever seen. It is so cute, it's so fall. I, like at my core, am a fall girly. And lastly, where I spent the big bucks was Ulta. So I got almost a full face of makeup. Not exactly, I'm missing like a few things, but pretty much a whole face of makeup. So I got a primer. I got the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I've used the regular putty primer, but I wanted to try the luminous one. Next up, I got this Juvia's Place foundation. I believe it is called the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. For concealer, I got the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. Y'all know what this is. If you have been on any type of makeup channel, makeup YouTube, makeup Instagram in the past six years, you have probably seen that concealer. Then I got this Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. I wanted a good like translucent powder. For a blush, I got the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the color Bora Bora. I don't know how this is gonna look on me, but we're just, we're gonna try it. I also got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour in Fair and Light. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be some type of dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I would know because I've never used Charlotte Tilbury. Another staple beauty YouTube channel, beauty Instagram account mascara, the Better Than Sex Tarte Mascara. I also got another mascara, the Essence Lash Princess. Everybody like raves about Essence mascaras, so I wanted to try one out. And lastly, I got an actual e.l.f. putty primer applicator. I'm probably not going to use this for the primer, but I'll probably use this for the blush. And yeah, that's my haul. I am very grateful and happy that my boyfriend treated me to some new makeup and some new things from the mall. And now we are going to play with some new makeup. I am so excited to play with some new makeup. Other than one NARS liquid lipstick that I had in like 2017, this, this Tarte mascara, concealer, and the Juvia's Place foundation, I think these are the only name brand, name brand meaning not sold at Walmart or Target makeup products that I have ever had. Okay, first, my skin is already prepped and ready. I did toner and I did sunscreen. We're gonna go in with the e.l.f. putty primer. I love opening new makeup. It's so fun. It doesn't really smell like anything, which I would say is a good thing. I don't wanna like mess it up. It feels very smooth, very like hydrating. I am looking very glowy, which I'm not mad about. Now let's open up the Juvia's Place foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. Cute little teal and gold. I like to take my ring finger and like dab the foundation on. Oh, this smells, it smells like fruit. That's very interesting. Yeah, this the smell of this is very strong. I would say the match is pretty good. Like it smells like fruit. What fruit? I can't exactly put my finger on it right now. It's blending very easily. I do have a little breakout on my chin. So I really shouldn't be wearing makeup, but I just, I couldn't wait to use my new products. I may have honestly put a little bit too much foundation. I think I put like a pump and a half. I feel like one pump would have been fine. I would say this is definitely medium to full coverage, leaning more towards full. Very glowy, which I love. Time for some shape tape. 
from what I've heard, this is really full coverage, and that's why all the- hold on. This smells straight up like perfume. Some very like strong smelling products here today. I mean, it's blending like a dream. I feel like the foundation and the concealer are a bit too close in color for the concealer to act as like a really bright highlight. Like it definitely highlights a little bit, but it's not like super bright under eyes and everything else is like a little bit darker. It's kind of every, everything is like the same color, which I'm not really mad about. Boom, concealer blended super easily. Now I am, I don't know if I should use the putty blush and the contour and then set my under eyes or if I set my under eyes and then do this. I don't even have any brushes out, what am I doing? I think I'm gonna set my under eyes first. So going in with the new Wet n Wild Bare Focus powder. There's a little bit of a smell coming off of this too. Is that normal? Okay, I'm gonna take this. I could use a smaller brush, but I just don't really want to. Oh wow, that is so smooth looking. That is really good. Okay, time for contour. Squeeze wand gently, then glide cushion tip along cheekbones, temple, jawline, and quickly blend. Oh, I'm barely squeezing it and some is coming out. That's cool. Okay. I don't know how much is too much, but let's let's just go in, y'all. Oh, so it blends into essentially nothing. I don't really, I think I've only used like one like crayon contour stick, so I'm not really well versed in like liquid contour. So if I'm doing something wrong, don't yell at me. Before we went to the mall yesterday, we went to Saltgrass, which is a steakhouse. And I got a sirloin and he got a burger and we split both of our meals. So I had half of his burger and he had half of my steak. The people who are like, why would you go to a steakhouse and order a burger when you can get a steak? There's something about a steakhouse burger that sets it apart from like any other restaurant or fast food burger. All right, I really like how it's looking so far. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. putty blush now and I'm going to make sure that I use this putty applicator. This is what the color is looking like. Very pretty. I don't know how much is too much, but I guess we will find out. That was probably too much. I think I am going to go in with this blender. I think that may be a little bit easier. Yeah, that definitely helps it. Yeah, this side is unblended and this side is blended. Beauty blenders really changed the game. Like, they are so versatile. Okay, what are we doing next? Probably eyebrows. I think the one that I'm looking the most forward to is mascara because I feel like mascara is the product that really changes the way that my face looks. I'm not great at eyebrows so I'm just gonna do these really quickly and I'll be back. Okay, eyebrows are on. So we do have two mascaras and I'm debating which one I want to go in with but I think I want to do this one, the Tarte one. I think the consensus on this mascara is that people either love it or hate it. Okay, the applicator, it's like almost metal, like aluminum, and it's like cold. I've never had like an aluminum feeling mascara container tube. I love this type of applicator. The first coat of mascara is on. I'm not blown away with it, but this is just one coat, so I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, I am real up close and personal, but this is how the mascara looks after two coats, and this is one. I definitely see a difference after two coats, and I also didn't do any, like, lash prep. I don't curl my lashes because they don't stay curled, so... All right, I'm gonna do a second coat and I'm gonna do like some highlight and some chapstick and I will be back. So it's been a few hours since I put the makeup on and honestly, other than like around my nose where it like gets a little bit cakey, everything held up pretty well and like I was sweating. Um, I still look very glowy. I don't look like crumbly, like there's not a whole lot of texture other than like normal skin texture. I think it held up really well. I would say my favorite product was the blush. Oh. 